My name's Dr Anna Machen, I'm an evolutionary anthropologist and I research the science behind love and in particular the relationship between parents and their children. I think technology makes parenting more easy partly because of the flow of information that people are getting so we can instantly look up issues if we have a problem with our children for example and learn about what they might need in their next steps. We're learning more and more about child development for example but also I think it's changing the way we parent because of actually the way we interact with our children. So now there are many, many apps that are built for parents to work with with their children and that's changing the way we interact with our kids. Our kids, after all, are being born into a digital world and it's important that parents actually understand how that world operates. So the, the practical uh, sides of digital technology, some of them are positive. So for example, women have much more independence in the financial world now with online banking. And certainly, you know, having your phone on you when you're out and about makes you feel safe. You've got more information, you know where you're going. But I think there are downsides as well. I think what we're finding is particularly with, with social media, then the rise in misogyny, the rise in people using certain aspects of social media to harass or follow women is something that we need to try and deal with. We need to try and make that more transparent so women actually feel safer and protected online. One of the ways we can make the experience of using social media, being in the digital world, more positive for women than negative is actually in a way humanising social media a little bit more. So at the moment, one of the reasons why you can get away with some of the behaviours we see, like the misogyny or the abuse, is because it's anonymous and there's no concept of the person at the end of the phone. And I think what we need to do is move away from anonymity and make it really a requirement of particularly social media companies to make sure that we know who is the person behind the username. Ultimately, I'm optimistic. We know from looking at the developments of technology through time that what humans tend to do is we get a new technology, we get very excited because we like shiny stuff, and we maybe use it without thinking what its downsides might be. We then tend to backtrack and try and then deal with those downsides. And ultimately, we find a way to work with the new technology in a way that benefits us and reduces those negative aspects. And I hope that that's actually what we're gonna do with, with our digital lives as well, that we will learn what works for us and what doesn't work for us, and we'll start to use that media in a different way. If I had to design the digital future with women in mind, I would make particularly some apps more women friendly. So I work in the world of relationships and for example I spend a lot of time exploring how dating apps work for women and certainly they are not designed to be female friendly, they're very much designed in a way to, to bias them to the way males for example like to date. So what I'd really like to see is more women being involved in the development of apps and understanding of how women differ and what we really want from, from those digital uh, platforms and if we can do that and if we can get more women involved then I think it becomes a friendlier place.